Namaste to everyone. Going through exercise one, observing the self by the self. And we have done six of the seven steps. Starting from the top, in step one, we were observing the imagination, particularly the feeling in the imagination. In step two, we asked if the feeling is naturally acceptable or not, do we want to continue with that feeling or we want to come out of that feeling? In step three, we asked whether that feeling that I was having at any moment, whether I am comfortable with that feeling or I am uncomfortable within, with that feeling. Step four, we asked who was deciding this feeling that is leading to my happiness and unhappiness. And we were able to conclude that it is I who is deciding the feeling that I'm having at any moment. So I'm deciding my happiness or unhappiness at this moment. I'm responsible. Every moment of unhappiness that I have, it is I who is responsible. And it is only I who can change that. So when we could see this, then in step five, we wanted to find out the basis on which we were deciding that feeling. Because there are only two possibilities. Either my feeling is based on right understanding, on the way things actually are, on the reality, the way it is, or my feeling is based on some assumption in the absence of right understanding, which means that I'm not able to see the reality the way it is. And I assume the reality to be something different from what it is. So that something different may be a difference in how I perceive myself as a human being. It may be a difference in how I perceive things around me it may be a difference in how this whole existence is. Because if I'm not able to see things the way they actually are, I may be basing whatever I know of the reality on what I can see through the gross eyes. So the picture that I have or what I believe is true in this existence may not actually be the way it is. For instance, I may see every unit as separate. I may see that in this entire existence, so much of activity is happening and if I don't understand, or if I don't see the reality the way it is, I don't see that underlying um, calm, that stillness, that which is ever present, then I may keep trying to control the environment control everything around me so that I can be comfortable inside because I have a fear of the unknown. And when things are happening and I don't understand how, then there is a fear that anything may happen at any time. So I try more and more to control my environment by trying to change people around me by trying to change the, the, the situations around me in that um, attempt to try to make it more to my liking. And obviously this is going to be a very difficult task to do. Therefore, that feeling of struggle, therefore that feeling of 
disharmony, discontent. The very not being able to see this reality as it is when it comes to the human being. If I don't see myself as self, being in charge of the body, but rather if I see myself as the body, if I live with this assumption, I have constant fear. I have constant fear of death because as the self, I have the will to live. But if I see myself as the body, I know with certainty that the body is going to die. So there itself is a huge conflict. So I want to live, but I can see that the body is going to die and I think I'm the body. So the fear, so that's constant trying to control and the struggle involved with it. So you'll see at every level, if I am basing my feelings on an assumption in the absence of right understanding, then chances are I am going to be unhappy at many, many moments. And there may be times when I have, I am excited. There may be other times when I am very unhappy. So it will keep changing. My feeling will keep changing and it will be very indefinite. So I cannot say that I will be in happiness, though I want to be in happiness all the time. However, if I base my feeling on the right understanding, on the way things are, if I understand the reality, if I understand myself as a human being, if I understand every other unit in this existence, if I understand the difference between the material and the consciousness, if I am able to see the underlying reality, the space, if I am able to see that there is one part that is changing, that has a lot of variety, but underneath it, at the base, there is one part of this existence where everything is still and it continues to be. When I understand all this, when I can see it for myself, then it is no longer information. Then I don't have to be reminded I am always with that ever present and my feeling is based on that. So it is definite, it is continuous and I can be happy in continuity. So therefore we came to step six that since we need to have this right understanding, let us see what are the feelings that you would have with this right understanding? Those feelings that are natural for you, those feelings that you want in continuity. And so we asked and we were able to see that the feeling of relationship is what is naturally acceptable to us, not the feeling of opposition. Feeling of harmony is what is naturally acceptable to us not the feeling of disharmony. And the feeling of coexistence is what is naturally acceptable to us, not the feeling of struggle. So we saw that this, these are the feelings that we want in continuity. The feeling of relationship, the feeling of harmony, and the feeling of coexistence. Next slide, please. So therefore, I have to understand these feelings. Therefore, I have to ensure the right understanding within myself. Therefore, I have to see things exactly the way they are, not through the perception of my assumptions, not through that coloring of my past experience or my conditionings, but to be able to get past that and see 
things the way they are. So I need to have this understanding of relationship, of harmony, and of coexistence. If I contemplate on relationship, I will be able to see that every unit is already related to every other unit. So the relationship is already there. And with this seeing that the relationship is already there, I don't try to question it, I don't try to fight it, but rather I see it, I understand the relationship, and I see my role, my participation in the relationship. I see my participation when it comes to the relationship with the body, my responsibility there. I see my participation if I look within the family of which I am a part. I see my participation in society. And when it comes to the existence, my participation is just to understand the existence and to be with it. In the nature, to understand the harmony and to be with that harmony at least not to disturb it. So when I have this feeling of harmony within me, when I understand harmony at every level, I will be able to understand the harmony within myself as a human being. I'll be able to see that whenever my feeling is not in line with the natural acceptance, I am disturbed. The disharmony is there. So I will be able to see the harmony within myself. I will also be able to see the harmony that I have with the body. I will be able to look at the harmony in the family and what I can do to play my part in that. I will work for harmony in the society. I will understand the harmony in nature. And I will try to do my part in maintaining that, keeping it the way it is, not disturbing it. And ultimately, if I can realize the coexistence, if I can see the coexistence, the way all the units are, the way each unit is interconnected with every other unit, then it completes that picture. Till I get to being able to realize the coexistence, till I develop the competence to see the space, this underlying reality which is connecting everything, till then I may still not have the full picture of things the way they are. To be able to see everything exactly the way it is, I have to work on myself, I have to build my competence, and I have to be able to see this existence the way it is. And then I can realize that everything is in coexistence. Every unit is in coexistence by virtue of just being embedded, being submerged in space. So with that, the whole picture gets completed. And I can then bring all my activities, lower activities, in line with that picture. Then I can see this underlying reality which is unchanging, 
which is ever present. And my feeling can be based on that. Then I stop trying to control things outside. I stop trying to struggle with changing things outside. But rather I have an acceptance of every moment that comes before me. This moment, the next moment, and the next moment, and the next moment. Then I don't keep trying to control the moment to my liking, but rather I accept the moment the way it is. That certainly does not mean that I don't do anything outside. I do things, whatever is necessary, I do all those activities, but I don't become unhappy with any moment. I don't react at any moment because I can see that calm at the base and I can relate to that and have a feeling based on that. So with all of this that we have gone through, yesterday this reflection that we were um, wanting to do was to check each of these steps and see for ourselves whether we have understood the steps. And you will find that there is a lot of room for improvement. There is a lot of effort to be made, a lot of work to be done for all of us. At every step, we can see there is so much more depth to it than what we can see at the surface. So we need to work on ourselves and observe where we need to work more. So we had asked everybody to go through that as the reflection and we can take your observations. Uh, Didi, uh, this uh, coexistence uh, is a mutual uh, existence of uh, this network uh, connectedness connectivity of all the units with the uh, self am i correct Didi? yeah there is one part is the connectedness yeah. if you recall when we talked of the existence yeah right? and we talked of this you know this whole existence and how the units are submerged in space and there are two types of units, the material and the consciousness. Yeah. Now, we said a few things, three particular things we had said specifically. That being yeah. in space, the units are self-energized. Yes. Isn't it? Yes, yes. Ultimately, you know, we say that energy comes from the sun and the sun, but ultimately, where is the sun getting its energy and all of that? So ultimately, when you keep going back, at some point, you have to say that it just is. The energy is just there. We don't know where it's coming from or, you know, it, it is there. So, you know, we are able to think, we are able to feel, and we don't get tired of that. Yes. We get tired when we have conflicting thoughts. Yes. But when our thoughts are in alignment with our natural acceptance, we can keep thinking, we can keep feeling, and we are doing that every moment. So where is that energy coming from? So like that, if you see every unit has this energy, it is there. Yes. So every yes. unit is self-energized. Self every unit is self-organized. Yes. Every unit is with a certain um, definiteness. Yes. That organization is there within it. You can see it in the body. You can see it in the self also. This yes. very thing that, you know, every time I have a feeling that is conflicting to my natural acceptance, I become unhappy. Now, this is something that I cannot change. It is already there. 
Yes. It happens to be there. I just have to understand it. So like this, if you see every unit, I'll be able to see this self-organization. And the third thing that is very important is that every unit is recognizing its relationship with every other unit and fulfilling that relationship. Yes. So when we see this, when we understand it, then we can see that, you know, the previous two things, being self-energized, I don't have much to do with that. It's already yes. there. Yes. The self-organization that is already there, that is one thing. Yes. I need to be with it, which means I have to be with the feeling that is naturally acceptable. Yes. To be in line with that self-organization. Yes. Similarly, and so with every other unit. And similarly, yes. when I see my relationship with every other unit, yes. now if I am basing it on some assumption, su suppose that every unit is separate, yes. then I will behave a certain way. Yes. Because I am not recognizing that relationship. I don't see that relationship. Yes. And so my recognition and fulfillment is based on this assumption that every unit is separate. I have nothing to do with any other unit. But if I can see the existence the way it is, and I can see this pattern, I can see the underlying space, I can see that ultimately every unit is already related. Yes. Then I can be one with it. Yes. And based on that, I recognize my relationship and fulfill the relationship from my side. But uh, uh, I have uh, uh, require, I need a little bit clarification uh, regarding. Suppose if we take uh, self with uh, uh, related to other other self. Mm -hmm. Then uh, the, the, there is a coexistence between the connect, people connected among us. Uh, okay, and our family members and friends and uh, okay in, uh, in uh, professional life. Okay. So if there is a coexistence, uh, then obviously what I feel, if there is external world, out world uh, uh, influence uh, definitely will be there uh, without, uh, uh, suppose generally we are talking about what are our feelings of self, first of all, that is most important. But uh, because of outward uh, external uh, disturbances or anything definitely will influence uh, on the feelings of self uh, without uh, 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 those disturbances we cannot uh, avoid uh, while uh, feelings of self is concerned what i feel yeah so if you see yeah if you see in the lower diagram yes see this is the process of evolution when we yeah. are not aware of the higher activities, when we yeah. are going only with the activities that are there in the B2 block, yes. then we can see that in this lower diagram, there is no guidance coming from B1. B1 is clouded. Yeah. We're not able to see that. Yes. So where are our feelings and thoughts coming from? So we are basing those feelings and thoughts on whatever our experiences of the outside, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. And because there is no guidance from within, we are yes. constantly being impacted by the outside, whether it be sensation, whether it be any preconditioning. Hardly there is anything, any feeling that is being guided from B1 because we haven't been paying attention inside. We are yes. largely paying attention outside. Yes. So therefore, we are having these feelings based on the outside. Yes. But as we keep working on ourselves, as we become aware bit by bit of these higher activities, yes. then now these become our source for our feeling, for our thoughts more and more. Yes. Now the assumptions have less significance. 
yes. in our feeling, in our thoughts. Now, I am relating more and more to the way things are actually, not based yes. on my assumptions, not what I can see through my gross eyes, but yes. something more than that. I am getting that um, picture, picture from within, not from the outside. As I do this more and more, then I can see my role in all of this. My feelings get more and more in line with this picture that I can see from within. And the outside seems to have less and less of a hold on me. The impact of the outside becomes less and less. Yeah. So even yeah. if the other person is misbehaving, even if the other person is shouting and screaming, yeah. if I can have the right feeling within me, I will be calm. Yeah. Despite all of that. And then rather than being able to get disturbed as was happening earlier, yes. you know, why did yeah. we get disturbed? If the other is shouting, I think that the other is shouting at me. And yeah. because I don't have the right feeling, I am trying to get the feeling from the other. Yes. But the moment I realize that, the moment I see that my feeling is my decision, it is in my control. Yes. I don't have to beg the other person for the right feeling. I can have the right feeling within. With that yes. right feeling within, I will also see, if I see my relationship with the other, I will see that the other yes. person is not shouting at me. The other yes. person is just expressing his or her own unhappiness. Yes. So I'll be able to see that the intention is not to hurt me. Yes. Rather, but, I will have compassion for the other because I will see that this person is already unhappy, is already in pain. How can yes. I expect this person to make me happy? Yes. Isn't it? Yeah. So with that concern, I will try to help the other. And in this whole process, I will be calm. I will be comfortable. Yes. Uh, this uh, inner harmony is there in any of the uh, person who are uh, connect, uh, connecting with us, uh, then uh, uh, there will be an inner harmony in the, obviously there will be an uh, inner harmony in the self also. What I, <laughs> See, yes. uh, again, if we are looking outside and we see yeah. that right now there is not, you know, this harmony in society we are not able to see right now. Yes, yes, yes. Again, we are getting disturbed by because we don't have the feeling insured in us. Yes, isn't it? Yes, yes. So the more and more we ensure the feeling, now we stop getting disturbed by the disharmony in society. Rather, we start working for harmony in the society. Yes, yes. With the right feeling within. Yes. So all that is possible, certainly, and people are doing it. Yes. It just yes. takes a little more effort. Yes, yes. So even though uh, all uh, disturbances are there, uh, we are able to keep ourselves uh, feeling uh, good feelings and relationship and uh, calm and uh, peace, peace. Yes, that possibility is there. That potential yes. is there in each and every one of us. But different yes. selves will have different levels of potential that is realized. Therefore, yes. you will have situations where you know, some people have um, achieved more of their potential, some people have achieved less of their potential, are not able yeah. to cope with these feelings. Yeah. So therefore, yes. the need for this right understanding, therefore, this effort to bring it into education so that each and every human being, each and every child yes. has this right environment, at least the exposure to all of this so that they can have the possibility of having the right understanding. Make uh, just, just I am comparing with the scientific understanding. So suppose a tuning fork is there with huh? the frequency it is uh, uh, giving the sound. And if other tuning forks are same frequency, both are will uh, combinedly will give uh, nice uh, uh, sound or nice music. <laughs> like, uh, just uh, when comparison <laughs> is made, we can say definitely there will be influence of our outward disturbances. See, we are, uh, when it comes to science, yeah. science is basing uh, many things on the material units. Yes. yes. But the existence is not all material. 
that's the big difference yes yes correct correct what may be true for material units yes not true for may not be true for consciousness units yes isn't it so yes. we are talking of the self a consciousness yes. unit so yes. with, within the self that self every self has the potential to yes. overcome this impact of the outside yes yes and be you know able to have that definiteness within yes feeling of that is uh, one's own experience is true experience only you can realize but it cannot be proved what i mean yeah yeah direct experience direct observation yes then it yes. becomes truth yes then no yes. matter what scientific principle may say otherwise i know yes. that this is the truth yes. this is how it is yeah yeah correct and so many people in tradition have been able to see this yes yes this possibility is there yeah 100% yeah. yes yeah. thank you dear thank you very much thank you okay we imagine when we imagine there is some kind of preconditioning and assumption that is why we imagine right well when we say imagination we are talking of the thoughts the expectations the feelings that are constantly going on within us all the time this is what we are yeah that is that is that is that is because we are uh, part of the body and then the body has got all these things right well th- we have been saying from the beginning as a human being you know i am a coexistence of self and body okay isn't it now the body is the material unit it has different needs different activities right yes for the body to sustain it requires food that is a need of the body yes you can see that you know walking movement these are all activities in the body yeah but then only these if these activities are fulfilled and if the body is rightly nourished we will get the feelings and thoughts and all those things right wait wait wait, wait. when it comes to the self the consciousness unit the consciousness unit has separate sets of needs separate kinds of activities in the consciousness there are feelings there are thoughts now this is these um activities in the self they are different from the activities in the body while the activities in the body you can see with your gross eyes and you can see you know um for understanding purposes you are you can be refer to the gross activities in the body but there are also many subtle activities in the body but important thing to see is these activities that are there in the body they are um temporary they are not going on in continuity and you can see in the self the feelings the thoughts all of these are continuous within at all moments it is there any time you look at your imagination you will see some of the other thought is there some of the other feeling is there at the base we may not have the ability to see that yet but if we pay it attention more and more inside we'll be able to see this so there is some continuous activity within the self that is going on all the time and you will see this is regardless of the body so the body may not be involved in this at all so it's not that the body does something therefore we have this thoughts and feelings you can see you know when you are lying down say now the body is still in one place it's not doing anything but you may be thinking of so many things isn't it yes that is irrespective of the body but uh, let me uh, let me just put one more uh, query that is uh, if the body is not there let us assume that the body is not there that do you mean to say that all these selves are existing yes this is what we are saying 
but we may not be able to see it right now but you can but see who is, this who is, who is able to who is able to see it there are many people who are able to see it and who have been able to but right now even if you are not able to see it can okay. you see this that so many times you are thinking something you are feeling something you are not even aware of the body can you see that yes 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 so you may spend minutes hours being busy with yourself even though you know the body is there but you are not doing anything with the body okay. isn't it so certainly we can keep this open for ourselves and see that if this is possible now this can be possible later also okay 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 isn't it okay madam ma ma one more one more uh, query i was just thinking about this happiness See, let us say, uh, let us say that I'm walking into my office in the morning, and everything is fine at home, and there is absolutely everybody is happy. I'm also happy, and I just uh, met a person who happens to be my boss or my teacher or maybe my department uh, section head or whoever it is, and then I wish him good morning, and then uh, okay, he reflects back. Maybe uh, he says morning, or he doesn't speak. He just looks at me and grounds, and then moves off. And that creates a situation of uh, unhappiness or a feeling of unhappiness. Okay, I thought I had an expectation, probably maybe a preconditioning and assumption that okay, if I wish him because I am happy, everybody else should also be happy. I know very well that he has not wished me back because he might have had some problems um, morning when he is coming to his uh, to the office. but then uh, my question is how can i be responsible for my unhappiness see if i can ensure my feeling within me we have to see this who is deciding the feeling is the other person deciding my feeling or am i deciding my feeling this question you have to ask yourself you have to see for yourself see we'll notice this that things outside can have some impact but ultimately is that person getting inside us and deciding our feeling or are we deciding us yeah if if that is the case then i i am very much with my right understanding and my feeling and my relationship with that person i feel that okay there is no point in again wishing and then i try to avoid that person that yeah is this is when i don't see my relationship with that person yeah i am not seeing a relationship because that relationship is not existing right this is what i assume that there is no relationship so what But, should i do what should i do in that kind of a situation what am i supposed to do yeah in this situation i can see that the other person may be having some discomfort of their own isn't yeah, it yeah definitely he is having he is having a discomfort that is why he was not feeling to wish a person back whenever yeah. somebody wished him that is fine so i, I know that very well i don't have to be impacted by it no i can see that you know he is disturbed now if your child is disturbed you avoid the child or do you try to help the child be less disturbed okay i try to help the child thinking that the child always behaves like this i have to do my duty that's all ah so i am seeing my responsibility towards the child because i have right. accepted that relationship with the yes, child yes 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 with this yes. other person i don't see my relationship so i don't see i don't have any concern for that other person So I avoid. Okay, okay. So I avoid, isn't it? Okay. 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 Thank you, Madam. Thank you. Yeah. We will do our ten-minute observation now. We'll reflect on all this discussion that we had. I think it was a fruitful discussion. Um, many of us may have had these questions within, and it's good to discuss them. so we will reflect on these feelings within us and see at any moment if we are disturbed within we need to check our feeling and see what is that feeling we are having is it in line with these feelings that are natural to us feelings of relationship feelings of harmony feeling of coexistence so we will reflect on this for 10 minutes and then we'll come back to observations okay we have been observing for about 10 minutes now if anybody has any observations to share we we'll take that otherwise we'll move on to step 7
while exploring about <coughs> relationship mm-hmm. uh, yesterday night i went to my rooftop and i was observing the <coughs> celestial bodies and uh, i was looking at one <coughs> star peeping out <coughs> and, and uh, i wanted to explore the relationship my relationship with this that star and <coughs> uh mm, i understood that yes there is a kind of relationship because that is also <clears throat> part of existence both of us we are part of the existence and uh, <clears throat> both we stay we live the, uh, the star is there and i am there also there is a coexistence uh, and uh, i wanted to feel the harmony within but i don't know i, I could not do it and uh, that that was my feeling uh, i want to share with you ji so every unit is related to every other unit that's right and we can see that you know being there in space every unit is reflecting on to every other unit so some impact will be there of one unit on another unit particularly if you see the material units right but having said that you know if i can see this that there is a certain amount of this you know relationship i have not just with one unit but with all the units and with that i may not have to do anything to fulfill the relationship from my side with all the units right mm-hmm. but the feeling can be there within us i can feel that there is this harmony with all the units suddenly something is not happening behavior is not indefinite right every night that you go up on the terrace you will see that stars those stars and as the earth is you know going around you will see different stars in the summer at the same time you will see different stars in the winter you will see different stars Yes. because of that movement isn't it now mm. that is it keeps happening year after year after year after year that definiteness is there isn't it something yes. suddenly doesn't happen when it comes to you know fulfilling the relationship from my side right now i may not have any role in uh, in this isn't it yes. i'm not uh, like i cannot see my interaction with that but certainly that impact is there on the body and even on a self which is um not having the feelings ensured within that is how you have impact of you know people look at horoscopes and they say such and such time such and such star has this influence this planet has this influence Yes. So certainly the stars, the planets have some impact, you know, particularly on the body, because uh, there is a relationship, there is recognition of that relationship and fulfillment of that relationship. But when it comes to the self, despite whatever impact may be there from the outside, from every other unit, the self. being a consciousness unit has the potential to overcome that impact and to ensure the feelings within oneself to ensure you know that definiteness in feeling and therefore in behavior what is the role of harmony here yeah so there is some harmony isn't it there is that definiteness is there isn't it like we mentioned every day this is happening 
if you go up on the terrace every day you can observe this is mm -hmm. it yes that there is this the, these stars there is this whole you know everything in the existence has a certain role is playing a role it it may not be that i understand every unit but yeah. i can see this i can see or at least i have studied in science that you know about the rotation of the earth and about the movement about uh, there's a whole science of astronomy of astrology astronomy to see you know all the the stars the planets all of them in the existence and when it comes to astrology their impact on the human being the units the other units and so on so somewhere there is things are in order something is going on that's how you can predict this isn't it mm -hmm. otherwise if things were just random if there was no harmony if there was no it was all chaos then how could all these people predict so many things isn't it in science also we predict we say um, you know we can see that the next comet will be visible on in such and such year or the eclipse the next eclipse will take so many years before it happens how are we able to predict this there is a certain pattern there is a certain definiteness isn't it it's not just things are not just happening randomly it's not chaos so when i see this i can have that feeling of harmony within that assurance also that everything is going in some definite order I keep observing this within today we had a lot of discussion it's important that we uh, see the feelings within us and try to explore deeper into this and uh, we'll take your observations tomorrow